The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question 24 wants to test our knowledge of differentiating between, it says, classify the following, a strong electrolyte, SE, Weak electrolyte, and non-electrolytes. So it gives us different compounds, and it wants us to know, classify the following as strong electrolytes, weak electrolytes, or non-electrolytes. So it gives us galactose, it gives us acetic acid, gives us hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric acid, and ammonium nitrate. Now, first thing that we need to do here is differentiate what the difference between an electrolyte, a strong electrolyte, and a weak electrolyte, or a non-electrolyte is. These are ions that break up in ions that break up in solution. So think of Gatorade and Powerade. These say, oh, we have all these electrolytes that you need for your body. We include potassium, calcium, magnesium. So these are all ions in an aqueous solution that go into your body when you drink it. So the first thing to realize in this is anything that doesn't involve ions is going to be classified in the non-electrolyte category. Anything that involves ions but they don't break up completely in solution are going to be deemed weak electrolytes. And anything that dissolves completely in solution, like our typical acids and base, break up completely form strong electrolytes. So the first one we see here is galactose. Galactose, I'm not exactly sure what the chemical compound is off of the top of my head, but I know that it's a sugar and it's similar to glucose. And glucose is C6H12O6. This sugar does not break up into ions in water. It's just a sugar. It's galactose. So galactose is going to be classified as a non-electrolyte. Now we go on to acetic acid. Acetic acid is not a strong acid. It's an acetate ion in acid. So we know that acetate is one of our polyatomic ions, and when it's mixed into an aqueous solution, it breaks up, but it doesn't dissolve completely. So we already classified one of those as a weak electrolyte. Hydrochloric acid, remember, when we mix up HCl, let's just mix it, um, we can mix it with a base, NaOH, or we can mix it with water. But when it does, the hydrogen and the chlorine completely break apart. If they completely dissolve in water, what do we have? We have a strong electrolyte. Now we have hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid, HF, um, your professor seems to like this one because it's a little bit trickier. Because F is so electronegative, it is not a strong acid. But it will break up in solution, but not like um, iodic acid or bromic acid, um, hydrobromic acid, however you want to say that. So because it does break up, but not as a strong acid and dissociate completely, we can designate it as ammonium, or sorry, as a weak electrolyte. Just getting ahead of myself. Finally, we have ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is NH4NO3. But this will dissolve completely when we put it in solution. 
Because, remember, nitric acid, HNO3, is a strong acid, and ammonium, ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, could break up into their respective ions. So, ammonium nitrate would be classified as a strong electrolyte. So this is how you differentiate the difference between non-electrolytes, weak electrolytes, and strong electrolytes. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.